So this next video is about the rear naked choke. And this choke is introduced in uh, level three uh, for blue sash and above. And there's multiple iterations of this. But at the most basic level, the rear naked choke follows that whatever my lead side is, that's the choking side. So if I'm leading right, I'm gonna be choking with the right. If I'm leading left, I'm gonna be choking with the left. All right, so that's the first part. Second part is you're just gonna begin at the level three, understanding shape and form at the very beginning. And then of course, working for efficiency, fluency, and then transitions, base breaking, and all the other pieces that are essential to making this move work. All right, so to start off, you can just have a relatively compliant training partner. His base might be slightly broken already. You're gonna move in tight to the chest and get the center of your elbow, let's rotate here, center of your elbow right into his uh, Adam's apple area, right in the center of his throat, boom. That's the first. Number two is this hand now goes on this bicep as this other flows behind his head, okay? Often, if you go in this way, like a snake, it requires less movement to pull your head away because a lot of times I'll be pushing my head into the back of his head using this part, right? Right there, I'm gonna be pushing my head against that same part of his head and that's gonna offer good control and moving in to finish the choke. Now there's a number of ways to finish and it's important to maximize your ability to choke fast and hard when it's time to use this in real life application. If you're training partner, work individual parts first and go slowly, give your partner plenty of time to tap. Okay, but you can work on them for efficiency. The first one is, is clamping here. The second one is clamping here. The third one is pushing your head in and the fourth is pushing your chest in. All right, now we can talk about maybe a few more variables, but those are the major ones. All right, so if I've got my choking position here, for example, the first one I'm gonna focus on is just that first one, clamping hard here when everything is cinched in. But, and he gets a tap, right? So let's rotate here. The next one I'm gonna practice is folding here, okay? So I don't use this one now, I'm gonna practice just the other one. So I get it nice and tight a little bit, and then I start folding his chest down. You can see his chest starts to depress. It's very hard on your partner, so take it easy. We want longevity in our training, but we also want to learn the uh, efficient parts, right? The effective parts. So you gotta have a good training partner and you gotta do lots of reps. Look out for your partner, you know? Don't abuse your partner. All right, next one. After that, that I wanna do, is I wanna push my head in. So I'm gonna cinch everything up and push my head in. Final one, I'm gonna push my chest in. Just my chest alone. Good, now if I put all of those pieces together, I clamp, I press, I push, I'm here, it'll take a very little amount of effort to finish this choke. So I'll be nice and easy. Okay, nice and easy. All right, so, nice there. Now, do we just reach across and choke somebody? No, get that out of your head, get it out of your head. It's easy to be countered. It's easy for somebody to lift you off your base and throw them. Spend five minutes on YouTube and just watch chokes gone wrong, right? Just YouTube, uh, a little bit of that kind of thing in the street, and you'll see people reaching over to try to choke somebody and getting thrown and then getting beaten on the floor. That's the last thing you want, is a high percentage move like a rear naked choke to fail in the moment you need it. This is one of the highest percentage moves in martial arts. Use it wisely and do it well. And when you're standing, you need to have a guy's base broken. So that means hips down, right? Maybe a two-way pressure. Break the hips here at the sacrum, break the chest here and tuck your head in. Now I can finish my choke, right? So how did I get to that position? Well, you can flow to it and that's really what the upper levels are all about. All right, so in that, this next video, we're gonna talk about transitions and entries into this choke to set it up or where it's likely to happen.